Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is nth catalan number. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. So, what does question say? It says that given a number capital N, the task is to find the nth catalan number. The first few catalan numbers for n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on are 1, 1, 2, 5, 14, 42 and so on. So, basically, what we are given is that in the input we are given a number capital n and we need to return the nth catalan number so the nth number in this catalan series n it, it is zero based index some of the first few values for n equals to 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on are 1 1 2 5 14 42 and so on these are some of the starting catalan numbers now let's read for the catalan number for capital n is equal to the number of expressions containing n pairs of parentheses that are correct matched that is for each of the n opening brackets there exists a closing bracket on their right and vice versa so what does it basically trying to say is that if i tell you that i have n pairs of opening bracket and closing bracket so basically i have n numbers of opening brackets and n number of closing brackets so i can say n pairs of opening and closing brackets then what are the number of ways of arranging these opening and closing brackets such that they are correctly matched is nothing but for n it is n catalan number okay so for example n equals to 0 means 0 pairs of opening and closing brackets there cannot be any way of arranging it so there is only one way empty set so the answer is 1 suppose i have one pair of opening and closing bracket the number of ways to arrange them such that they are correctly matched is one way i can do it like this see i cannot do it like this this is not true i can say a plus b but i cannot say a plus b or anything this is absolutely rubbish this is the correct way so it is called correctly matched for n equals to 2 it means two pairs of opening and closing brackets there are two ways so if we see one way is this and the other way is this you can say a plus b into c plus d or you can say a plus b into c both of these are correct so one way is this and one way is this for n equals to 2 is uh, the nth catalan number is 2 it is nothing but number of ways of arranging two pairs of opening and closing brackets such that they are correctly matched other than this there are no other ways i cannot do it like this this is wrong there are only two ways so nth catalan number tells us the number of ways of arranging n pairs of opening and closing brackets such that they are correctly matched that is what it is trying to say now let's read further since the answer can be used, return answer modulo 10 key power 9 plus 7. Okay. Positions start from 0 as shown above. So it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, not from n equals to 1. If we look at the example for n equals to 5, answer is 42. For n equals to 4, answer is 14. Complete find catalan function that takes n as an argument and return nth catalan number. The output is printed by the driver code. The expected time complexity is big O of n square and the expected auxiliary space is big O of n and the constraints are given here. So uh, now if we try to think about the solution of the problem, one way is to look at this series and try to think it in terms of some formula. But looking at this series, it is very difficult to think of some formula. The another way is by using the definition. What is the definition? It says that nth catalan number is nothing but the number of ways of arranging n pairs of opening and closing brackets such that they are correctly matched. So how can we use this and try to get a formula? See what we will do is we will take n equals to 0 and 1 as the base case and try to generate all the different possible combinations for n equals to 2 and 3. Using this we may get some answer and some formula. So these two are the base cases we are considering. Now let's try to generate for n equals to 2, okay? So what I can do is, suppose n equals to 2, it means I have two opening brackets and two closing brackets. I want to make use of the base cases or the smaller values of n to get all the combinations possible for the large value of n. So what I can say is, see for n equals to 2, what I can do? I need to add one pair to n equals to 1. So let me add it. 
now there will be some expression inside it and some expression outside it and the total number of pairs of opening and closing brackets is 2 this is the second one which i have taken so the remaining is 1 so there can be two ways one way is that here there are no pairs and here there is one pair how so inside this there are no pairs no pairs means empty set outside it there is one pair one pair that is only one way so this is one way i have got this another way is i have one pair inside this and zero pairs outside this so how will i get that one pair is inside this and zero pair outside means empty set what is that that is nothing but this way so i have got the answer two right now we will look for n equals to three and things will become very clear see for n equals to three i am telling okay i am taking the third uh, opening and closing bracket pair okay so i am taking the last one now i need to add two more but i want to add them using the previous answers so what are different possibilities here there are no pairs here there are two pairs okay how can i get that no pairs inside this is empty and two pairs outside it now for two pairs outside it there are two ways one and two so there can be either this or there can be either this one way is this and the other way is this what is another way another way is here there is one pair and here there is one pair if we draw it there is one pair inside it there is one pair outside it what is the third way inside it we have two pairs and outside it we have zero pairs so how can i get it inside there are two pairs now to get two pairs of opening and closing brackets there are two ways these are the two ways so i can say sorry i can say this is one method so inside the third pair i have got two pairs using the first method there is another way so inside i have got two pairs there are two ways and outside it is empty so i have not written anything how many different ways two ways here two different ways here and one different ways here so two plus two plus one that is five total number of ways is what five so what are we trying to get here we will take the nth pair and then put inside and outside all the different combinations of n minus 1 pairs such that the number of pairs inside what we have taken plus the number of pairs what we have taken outside is nothing but n minus 1 because nth pair we have taken so what i can say is in order to calculate nth catalan number i can say it is nothing but for i equals to 0 to n minus 1 i can say catalan number of n is equals to catalan number of n plus inside what is i i is nothing but the number of pairs i have taken inside in this place so inside if i take i pairs how many different ways there exist c of i here i took two pairs inside so there exist two ways one is this way one is this way and what are the number of ways of taking outside how many pairs will be remaining if i take i pairs inside for nth catalan number suppose this is a this is b suppose i decide to take i pairs here here i will get n minus 1 minus i because their total should be n minus 1 because i have taken one pair already this and this so overall total is n so number of pairs in a plus number of pairs in b should be n minus 1 inside if there are i pairs outside there should be n minus 1 minus i so it is catalan value of i that is number of ways of arranging i pairs such that they are correctly matched which is inside at this position into catalan of n minus i minus 1 that is number of ways of arranging uh, n minus i minus 1 pairs outside and this will range from i equal to 0 to n minus 1 here i have taken zero pairs inside i have taken one pair inside and i have taken two pairs inside similarly i can take zero pairs one pair two pair up to n minus one pairs inside and the remaining pairs outside if i add all these values to c of n i would get catalan number of n and before running this loop i will initialize catalan of n as zero 
now let's look at its actual implementation so now if we talk about the actual implementation that what i have done is first of all i have taken mod equals to 10 to the power 9 plus 7 also i have taken long even though i have to return integer so that i do not have to face overflow in between right then i have taken some variables and catalan of n plus 1 size array i have initialized catalan of 0 as 1 you can take one or two base cases then what i have done is from i equals to 1 to n i have calculated the catalan of i value understand to calculate catalan of n i need catalan of 0 to n minus 1 pre calculated so what i am doing is i am moving from 0 to n and i am calculating catalan of i at every index so i am moving from i equals to 0 to n first of all i will initialize catalan of i as 0 now what we look while uh, looking at the concept part either we place zero pairs outside and n minus 1 pairs outside one pair inside and n minus 2 pairs outside and so on so that is what i am doing here here instead of n we are looping with the help of i i equals to 0 to i equals to 1 to n so for j equals to 0 to less than i what will j represent it will represent number of pairs inside so this was this was our expression so suppose j equals to 0 so that i am placing zero pairs inside i minus 1 pairs outside j equals to 1 one pair inside i minus 2 pairs outside so that is what i am doing catalan of i is nothing but plus is equals to catalan of j into catalan of i minus 1 total it should be i minus 1 because overall i am calculating for i pairs i have already considered one pair so the sum of pairs year and year should be i minus 1 so it is i minus 1 minus j and modulo mod and afterwards after adding it to this i have again taken modulo mod this modulo mod is applied on this multiplication and after adding it to this value i am again taking modulo mod so that it does not get overflow and finally i will return the value of catalan of n what will be the time complexity time complexity would be big o of n square as we are using two for loops what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space required here would be nothing but big o of n because we are taking one array of size n plus 1 and this will work successfully now let's submit this code so let's submit it so we have solved this problem successfully i hope you have understood this solution completely thank you